Hello friends, trust that you're learning something through these uh, daily devotionals. We've been talking about the character of God, we've been talking about the nature of Jesus and the fact that the Lord Jesus has come to fulfill uh, the mandate of the Father and we've talked about sozo or salvation that has been provided for us through the cross of Calvary. And today I specifically want to talk about the fact that the Lord Jesus ministered healing through his earthly ministry, uh, but he also wanted healing to touch the lives of, of uh, you know, those, those who believe in him uh, after he had paid the price for our sins. Let's just look at a couple of scriptures here. Matthew chapter 14, verse 14, it says, And when Jesus went out, he saw a great multitude and he was moved with compassion for them and he healed their sick. We've already said that the character of God is immutable. And so what Jesus did during his earthly ministry is something we can expect him to do right now for us. And we see here that he was moved with compassion for the people. Why? Because he saw many who were sick, um, who came forward you know, to meet with him and to experience his power. Uh, and how did he respond? You know, how did his compassion um, uh, play out in the lives of those who were sick? We notice that he took the next step, which is to heal those who were sick. Now let's also look at another scripture here. This is Matthew chapter 12 and verse 15. And we read, But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there and great multitudes followed him and he healed them all. Now again, during the times of Jesus, just like you know, how we have it now, uh, there were several people who were seeking for bodily, bodily healing and they were brought to Jesus. So what was Jesus' response? In this second verse that I read, we see that he healed them all. He healed them all. There could have been conditions which were simple by the standards of man or there could have been conditions which were really complicated by the standards of man. There could uh, have been um, conditions that were probably not named uh, and even today we have similar circumstances, we have similar situations where people are struggling with all kinds of sicknesses but you know, what can we expect Jesus to do today because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. The way Jesus healed everyone who came to him, even today, we can expect healing in our physical bodies you know, without any partiality, uh, without you know, any sort of uh, um, categorization. You know, Jesus will heal all. That's what we can expect the Lord Jesus to do when we come to him, you know, looking for the healing work of the cross. And I just want to remind us that Jesus is the express image of the Father. In the way the Father uh, introduced himself as Jehovah Rapha, the covenant God of healing. Jesus continued to do that work of healing for us. Healing is known as the children's bread in scripture. And so if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus, I just want to encourage you, even those who were not part of the covenant, when we study scripture, you know, the, the centurion and the Canaanite woman, their families and their loved ones also could receive healing because of their faith. And how much more us who are part of the covenant. So go ahead, believe God, trust him, and you will see his healing work in your body. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Lord, you have released your healing for the children, Father. And Lord, healing is the children's bread. And by faith, we receive that into our bodies, Lord. And Father, today I pray, let uh, a pain be removed, let discomfort be removed, God. And Lord, let there be a supernatural turnaround, Lord, for various uh, sicknesses and medical conditions, Lord. Father, thank you. Thank you that you still are our healer, Lord. Let your blessing be upon your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.